with a number of its leaders sentenced in the war crimes during Bangladesh's 1971 independence war. Country's largest Islamist party is going through its toughest times. While support for radical Islamists have surged in many Muslim-majority countries of late, Jamaat e Islami has bucked the trend after failing to banish the taint of siding with Pakistan in Bangladesh's freedom war. Party has been suffering blow after blow. In a fresh blow this week, country's Supreme Court upheld the death sentence given to Jamaat-e leader Muhammad Qomar Zarman for mass murder and war crimes. This was the third verdict within a week that went against the party's stalwarts. The four-member appellant division of Supreme Court pronounced the verdict four months after 62-year-old Kwame Zerman filed an appeal against the death penalty handed down to him in May last year by a special tribunal. Prior to that, Jamaat e Chief Mehtoor Rahman Nizami and top leader of the party Mir Qasim Ali were both sentenced to death for atrocities committed during the 1971 war. Last month, Jamaat e Islami spiritual leader died in prison. 92-year-old Gulam Azam was serving 90 years in prison for war crimes. He was sentenced in July last year. Azam had filed an appeal against his conviction and the Supreme Court was due to consider it on December 2. Although Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League and the main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party have dominated politics since independence, Jamaat has been a kingmaker and served as a junior coalition partner as recently as 2006. But its growing marginalization was sealed last year when it was banned from a general election after judges ruled its charter conflicted with the country's secular constitution. That ruling for the inflamed supporters already fuming over the trials of around a dozen of leaders accused of war crimes in the 1971 conflict. Around 500 people were killed in political violence last year both in the aftermath of war crimes verdicts and the build up to January's election which the BNP boycotted. But although Jamaat mobilization last year were a show of strength the subsequent violence alienated the public. The first verdicts last year saw hundreds of thousands stake to the streets but there was a tepid response to call for protest and a strike last week issued after Jamaat Assistant Secretary General Mohammad Qamar Zarman's appeal against his death sentence was rejected while the verdicts triggered sporadic violence it was nothing on the scale of last year to compound Jamaat's woes there are now signs the BNP led by Hasina's arch rival and former premier Khalida Zia is turning its back on its one time partner in government the BNP refrained from condemning the recent verdicts its failure to offer condolences after the death of Ghulam Azam Jamaat's 92 year old spiritual leader who died last month after being convicted of war crimes underlined the cooling in relations the series of shockers for the party has posed serious questions over its survival Analysts believe the party has no future unless it transforms itself into a new party and finds a new leadership that can effectively mobilize people and shake off its wartime legacy. Asia Desk DD News.